Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to W Electronics YouTube channel. Guys, today we will unbox B Side S30 Smart Multimeter with infrared temperature measurement. This meter coming especially with this feature, which no other multimeter offering infrared temperature measurement and high voltage diode. In B Side S30 Multimeter, they add two new features like infrared temperature measurement and high voltage diode measurement so these two features not offering any other multimeter so that's why this meter unique we will unbox and check what we have inside the box so let's unbox and check so inside we found one case this is the box we keep in one side this is the case Let's open and check what have inside. So this is the box. We get one silicone wire probe with sharp needles. This is the sharp needle probe and its wire are silicone wire, not a normal wire. Very easy to bend and flexible wire this one type c charging cable because this multimeter is rechargeable so usb 2 type c recharging cable this is the crocodile testing probes if you want to catch something so you can catch with the help of this crocodile probes this is the user manual which is in english and chinese language A smart multimeter with infrared temperature measurement so you can read this manual i will tell you all the function one by one first we unbox and then this is the warranty card by b side which is in also in english and chinese both language they provide one small phillips screwdriver for removing the cap of charging connector this is our multimeter oh wow big screen multimeter they also give me two different green and red pouch protecting casing for this multimeter first we remove this pouch and check inside look so easily it's a rubber and silicone case so you can easily remove which color you like you can install that one so this is the inside of this multimeter It's a rechargeable and also powered by two alkyne batteries. Two power up option available on this one. In case of your charging finish, you can use and this meter automatically switch to the external batteries. First of all, you can see this is the power on button. This is the infrared temperature sensor laser point. This is the measuring point. downside this is the space for two alkyne batteries this is for current probe common and positive lead and this side no any option this side have the buttons some buttons this button for selection this button for high voltage diode this button for torch light this light this is torch light on off button and also laser light on off button laser light you can also use as a later laser light this is the infrared temperature measurement button so this is the look this is the charging point of this multimeter let's open this screw and check i will show you how to charge this multimeter this is type c charging interface for charging this multimeter when you connect your type c charging port here it show here red led for charging and when this meter become full charge its red led become a green so green led status means your multimeter fully charged let's close this one and this is the green case this is red case this is black case it's coming with three colors which one you like you can buy that one i will show you different how to very easily you can install just put like this and after because it's a rubber and silicone case so very easy to install you can install any one which one you like this is torch light 
let's on multimeter and check all function one by one before that i will show you external battery how to install for external battery you need to open this point very easily open after open this you need to install two triple a size battery you as you can see the position of batteries like this like this and like this after you close this cover and your battery as a backup for installed but no need battery in case of emergency you should keep two batteries with you or is always installed in multimeter because as in def default setting it's a meter using rechargeable battery so you no need any battery external battery for uh, power on this multimeter let's power on this multimeter and check all function one by one for power on you need to press and hold this power on button after your multimeter will be on like this screen in front of you let's use this multimeter and check all functions one by one like this you need to put the positive lead on this terminal input terminal and negative to common so after this we are going to measure all functions one by one so this is in auto mode when this meter in auto mode you can check the voltage ac voltage dc voltage resistance continuity and this all function you can check in auto mode you no need to select any selection so as i told you in auto mode we can check ac dc voltage without any selection so this is 220 ac volt we will check as you can see here showing 216 voltage and frequency 60 hertz 60 hertz frequency and 216 ac voltage so like this you can check your ac voltage and frequency for dc voltage we have one dc battery 9 volt battery we will check it you can see it's showing us 9.3 volt dc battery and this temperature showing internal circuit temperature here you can see dc also dc symbol coming and 9.3 volt dc it's showing also you can check the resistor without changing the selection you can see 554 kilo ohm resistance it's showing and for fuse also you can check the fuse without any selection in auto mode it's showing us this fuse is ok like this you can check this four function in auto mode and for changing function you need to press this button this selection button now it's going to v alert in v alert we check the ncv function non contact voltage function i will show you this function in later after that live wire for live function you need to bring your multimeter probe near to your supply and it will show you there is supply or not if there is no supply it will show you nothing i close the breaker and now it's showing me nothing so like this you can check the live function let's move to a, a, another function another function for capacitor we can check the capacitor with the help of this function as you can see it's a 25 microfarad capacitor and it's showing me 24.3 microfarad so like this you can check the capacitor i have another one let's check another capacitor this is the 1500 microfarad this is the high microfarad capacitor and you can see it's showing me 1583 microfarad it's a 1500 microfarad capacitor like this you can check the capacitance let's move to, to another function it's a normal diode check function for this you need to check diode negative with cathode and positive with anode it's showing me 519 which is it means this diode good so like this you can check the diodes i have also this bigger diode and its conduction voltage is 1.31 so like this you can check the diode let's move to next function next next function for continuity in continuity you can check the any wire and shortage and fuses 
as you can see it's showing me zero it means this fuse is okay also i have this small fuse it, it's okay like this you can check the continuity and fuses let's move to another function it's a resistance function for so resistance we can check the transformers resistor inductors this is the 22 ohm resistance and it's showing me 21.9 ohm so like this you can check the resistance i have also this 54k resistance it's also showing me 54 kilo ohm on multimeter so like this you can check the resistance let's move to another function this is the dc voltage we already checked this in auto mode and this function also we can test it's showing me 9.3 volt dc so like this you can check the dc for ac voltage and frequency we need to check the supply and it's showing me 216 voltage 60 hertz frequency let's move to next function next function is auto again coming let's go to another function high voltage diode i will show you how you can check the diode normal diode and high voltage diode high voltage it will this meter will supply up to 12 volt for checking the diode up to 15 volt actually 0 to 15 volt this meter will provide and you can check the high voltage diode so for this we have this one high voltage diode strip so positive i bring to here negative here you can see on multimeter it's a 2.5 voltage and this led glowing it means this one okay let's check second one now meter applying 5.13 voltage and both led on let's check third one now meter applying 7.73 voltage and three led on now check this one now meter applying 10.28 volt and four leds on like this you can check the high voltage diode up to 15 volt one two three four five and six how much you can check in one time so this is the new function it's this function not available in normal and other multimeters and let's go to the torch light function this is the torch light function for pressing one time this torch light will on and you can see it's a torch light function and for changing this torch light to laser light you need to press and hold for a while and this laser function on you can see this laser light so this function for laser light you can use the laser light function by pressing and holding this enable and disable let's go to thermometer function this is the thermometer function you need to press one time and after you can check the temperature so i show you how you can check the temperature so for using infrared thermometer you need to select this selection infrared thermometer and you can test you can see now it's showing me 80 degrees celsius 77 83 or like 122 140 163 158 like this you can check the temperature in positive and negative as well for changing the unit to centigrade to fahrenheit you need to press and hold and it's showing you in now fahrenheit temperature in fahrenheit so like this you can press and hold and you can change the unit of temperature i will show you also the temperature in minus so guys for negative temperature i open my fridge and on the infrared thermometer function in my this multimeter and as you can see minus 10 minus 6 minus 4 this multimeter showing me i put down it's showing me plus 9 this freezer portion it's showing me until negative 10 chiller portion it's showing me 5 6 7 8 so like this you can check infrared thermometer also working in positive up to 200 celsius and negative as well let's i show you the function of v alert and ncv option this is the v alert option for testing of non contact voltage you need to select the v alert option after you your meter this point bring near to your wire so as you can see this meter popping up and this buzzer it means there is supply available 
so when we pass this point it's showing us nothing it mean your supply not coming here and your wire damage in between until here have supply after this no have supply because this wire disconnected from here on this point so you can see until here showing supply after that not showing supply so like this you can test the wire and use ncv function So this is the all about this beside S3 smart multimeter it's a rechargeable and big screen and multi function multimeter hope you like the video it's a not expensive it's very cheap i will give you link in description below if you like you can buy through that link like subscribe and keep watching guys see you in next video take care bye